Hi everyone, it's AG Love of 1234 Forever. This is a half an hour long video, you don't have to watch it all, but please enjoy. Hello everyone, it's me, AG Lover, 1234 Forever, and today I'm doing a video on dressing all my dolls for winter, and I really hope you enjoy this video as it has been requested quite a lot. I actually counted and I've had 80 requests this video on hangouts, on email, I've had it through a lot of things so I thought it's time to do this video and I just really hope you enjoy this video and maybe learn more about my dolls in their personality by what they wear also um, on what it's like over here I know it's in October now but um, watch my colour, oh yeah We've already started getting a tiny bit of snow over here. I don't know if that's the same for the people who live in England, but over here we've had a tiny little bit of snow. So I thought my dolls might as well start getting dressed. So first of all, I'm going to start off with my first ever doll that I got. Everybody else knows who it is, but if you're new to my channel and this is your first video that you've ever watched, the first doll that I'm doing is Annie. Before anybody puts in the comments, Annie is not a fake American girl doll. She is an original, but she's from the 80s and she's had her wig redone. I got Annie on Christmas 2015. Okay? Two, not 2015, 2014. And I'm just going to go and get Annie an outfit because I have a trunk of clothing. Okay. First of all, I'm going to put her in these purple flats. They look blue on camera, but they are purple. And Annie actually came in these shoes when I got her. Okay. So, a pair of purple shoes. And then I'm just going to go and get an outfit. It's very hard to choose a specific outfit that is going to suit my doll. So please bear with me if I'm gone for a bit longer than I usually go. Okay. So as I said, Annie is wearing a pair of purple um, flats. As you can see, I'm going to bring the camera down a bit. There we go. And um, underwear. These are my American Girl doll underwear. So this was the tuck. Okay. Um, a pair of sparkly leggings. These don't fit very well because they're designer friend. And if you don't know what designer friend is, it's the British version of American Girl. Kind of like London Girl, but it's called designer friend. And I have two designer friend dolls. But these kind of fit. I kind of don't so you're gonna have to bear with me with this and the top she's going to wear is this it's from i forgot what american girl outfit it is but it came as a dress as well you might remember and it is from american girl as it has the american girl logo on the arm i actually got this with laney laney girl of the year 2010 so I'm going to dress Annie and I'm going to just show you what she looks like in each stage because you will see the outfit progress. Sorry if I sound really weird today. I have got a cold and I don't feel very well at all so just putting on the underwear, I put them on the wrong way. Sorry. Okay, so Annie is now wearing the underwear and as you see they fit really well. I'm going to put on the top next. This top's very snug, but it fits wonderfully. And it, it, it's, it, it, it's a gorgeous top really, I can't say it isn't because it just is. Everything about it is fantastic and it's very good for the winter time. Very good for the winter time. And the top. 
I'm going to put on leggings. This may take a bit longer because, as I said, the elastic's really thin in these, so I really have to pull it. So, but they, they do fit. If you own an American girl and designer friend, the only things that don't fit are the shoes that come with outfits. But when you get your um, doll, the shoes that your doll comes in, they fit American Girl. If you're buying a separate outfit, those, they normally come with sandals and they don't fit. I have tried them before. I'm just putting these on. These, they're very pretty leggings. I put them on Laurie the other day and she looked very pretty. I'm just pulling them up. If I'm um, putting this on doesn't work, I'm going to have to take off the underwear, which I don't really want to do because I would feel naked without underwear. So I'm gathering my dolls would as well. I can just pull down the top really or fix it after the video. Okay, sorry. So here's Annie wearing that. I think I might change these. So I'll be back in a minute and I'm going to try and find a different pair of leggings to because these don't really fit very well with this outfit. Be back in a moment. Okay, so I've sorted out what leggings I want Annie to wear. Um, my my mum made these and I absolutely love them. They're more like capris, but they are so cute. My mum actually made these and they're very good. Extremely good. Okay. Not all dolls are going to take this long to do, but it's only because Annie has um, very small eyes. So it's so hard to pick an outfit for her. The reason for that is because she had her eyes changed as well. But they couldn't find the correct eyes, so they just gave Annie these eyes. Okay, I'm just putting these over her. These actually do fit. This top's lost a lot of its well card. Okay, so that's Annie and I'm just going to put her shoes on and then I'm going to show you what hairstyle I'm doing on her and tell you why I'm doing that specific hairstyle. But before I do that, here's an overlook at Annie. Okay, so there are her shoes, her leggings, and there she is, sorry, her eyes winking. There we go. So what I'm going to do for Annie's hair is I'm just going to comb it for winter and what? Brush I'm using. I would use my um, American Girl one, but um, I can't find it at the moment, so I'm just using one that I use on my own hair. Okay, I know you're not really meant to, but this is um, not an American Girl wig, so. And I'm just going to comb it out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. I normally use it as a headband, but right now I'm going to use it as a hair tie. And the reason why I'm tying Annie's hair back is because. And you, um, this outfit is very bland, it's only got a certain amount of colours in it and the colours that she ha is wearing are blue and this brings out the blue so you can see her face and her eyes. My bangs are getting a bit messy. There we go. And it makes her look very beautiful. Annie is now complete. So, I'm going to move on to my next doll now. Um, the next doll that I received was Lainey Girl B at 1010. And how I got her is actually a really funny story. I got her in January, which was just after Christmas. And my dad saw her how much I loved American Girl. So we said we can start collecting them. And I was overjoyed. And one night I was sitting down on my computer. And then my dad was calling me. And I went in, and he saw Lainey at £30. It was an absolute bargain, to be honest. And my dad was on the wrong eBay account, and he was trying to buy her, but he couldn't. And the reason why she was down so low is because her hair was really frizzy. And the owner didn't know that it was Lainey. They just thought it was some random American girl doll. So they put her on really low, and we bought her. And I was overjoyed. 
and I got her. And her hair wasn't curly. I have curled it myself. I've been trying to curl it forever, and you will know if you're on my Google Plus how long I've been trying to curl this hair. But I've done it, but it's still really frizzy, but nothing I can do about that. It'll go over time, I hope. But um, that's the story of Lainey. So the pair of shoes that I want Lainey to wear are these our generation shoes. I got these with the jeans can come true outfit and I went to Smith's toy store and if you live in England um, you can get an outfit for £9 and I got these really cute slip on shoes and I'm just going to go and pick an outfit out for Lainey. Lainey is one of the easiest dolls to dress in my opinion. In my opinion. So only because of her wonderful hair and just the way she is. She's just a fantastic doll. If you want to get a Lainey and you've seen one and you've had your eye on her for quite some time now, in my you can just get her. She's a fantastic doll and you would regret not getting her. I know I definitely would if I saw her. Okay. So a lot easier with Lainey. I've just managed to get a really easy outfit. This is a hand knitted beret and I got this beret with Melanie which is my latest doll which is a Gwen doll and I'll tell you more about that later. But this is just handmade, at least I don't think it's from any American girl outfit and it's red and it's really cute. Next is a pair of grey tights. I got this was a tad plaid outfit from our generation. Um, our generation clothing for American Girl doll fits a bit, but it's kind of ripped it a bit. But when you put on a dress or a skirt, you can barely tell and it looks like new. Okay, so I've got a grey pair of tights. And again, the outfit costs £9. Pair of tights, pair of boots, top, skirt and a vest. So it was an absolute bargain really. You can still get these in Smiths, so... Get them now because I've got some sales on. And the next thing that means I'm wearing is this lovely sweater dress. My mum made this again. My mum makes fantastic clothes and she doesn't think she does, but she makes wonderful clothes. And she made this. And it is really it's lovely on American Girl Dolls, and you'll see that effect in a moment. So I'm just going to grab Lainey. I'm going to put on the um, tights first. I have um, three pairs of tights um, because I don't normally get many. The main ones that I have are from our generation. I have this one and I have a brown pair. And I have a purple pair that came with Melanie. Okay. So you just slide them on. I've always wanted a pair of tights, especially for winter time, because it gets suspiciously cold. And why I say suspiciously is because one day it's sunny, and the next day it's cold. But so there are the tights. No underwear for Lainey because she's wearing tights. I don't normally put underwear on these tights because it's always harder to get on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie her hair back. Okay, and what I do is, I don't tie my doll's hair back when getting them dressed, but what I do with Lainey is I use her neck strings and I tie her hair back because I just know that I'm going to undo it again. Okay, so I'm just going to get a sweater on and then I'll show you and undo her hair. This sweater is a bit hard to get on, so if I just show you Lainey. What I like to do is I like to slip this dress on because it's got a really wide neck. So I'm not going to put it on over the head because it's meant to be a tight fitting dress. This is meant to be a recreation of the cosy sweater outfit. If you don't know what that outfit looks like, check it out. It's really awesome. I may not have the slippers, but I have the sweater and I, I'm hoping to fix the pair of leggings. Because I had a pair of leggings, but they kind of broke. So um, I hope to get that sorted. There we go. The reason for the beret is because um, I'll make it look a lot cuter and just awesome. 
generally. Comment down below for your favourite outfit. If there's a specific outfit that you really love, please comment down below and I can give a review of it if you want. So that's Lainey. I haven't put her shoes on yet, but just showing you. You could put a belt on, as this kind of dress, but um, some people choose to, some people choose not to. I might have put it on the wrong way. If I put it on the wrong way, I'll put it on the wrong way. Oops, I'm just going to switch this dress around and then I'll come back and show you what she looks like with a full outfit. Okay, um, it has actually been a whole day since I videoed my last piece um, because, hang on, I'm just going to turn the camera down so you can't see me and make the lighting turn a bit better. It's actually been a whole day since I've done my video and um, the reason being is I have the worst batch life on my camera. It lasts about half an hour and then it goes. So um, I've already dressed Laurie and if you don't know I might have mentioned it but Laurie was my um, third, third doll and she looks very hip, very modern and very adorable. The next doll that I will be doing, as I'm doing this in order of when I got the dolls, my next doll that I received was Kit Kitteridge. Sorry the lighting is so bad. There we go. It's Kit. I received Kit and I got her for Easter and um, I have a bit of a story with Kit. Um, I got Kit when um, I saw her on eBay and she was £60 and I said, oh, a Kit Kitteridge doll has just come up. And she came in her full me outfit and everything. And I was like, oh, Dad, a Kit Kitteridge has come up. And then he said, oh, okay. And I said, can I get it? And then he said, um, no, not unless you're going to give me the money. So I gave him the money and then I clicked refresh and the doll had already been bought. And I said to Dad, oh, don't worry about it. Can I have my money back? And then <laughs> what he said was, um, what happened? And I said, the doll's been bought. And he said, yeah, that was me. So in the end, my dad had bought me the doll. And I just love her. This is a historical doll. Okay, it's not me forever. So let's pick an outfit for Kit. Kit's um, another hardish doll to dress. So to me, I have hard dolls to dress and some dolls are just really easy to find the perfect outfit for. Um, because it's winter, I don't want to hesitate. I just want to get the perfect outfit for my dolls. Um, yep, that will do. So, I've got the shoes that Kit will be wearing, the old My American Girl doll boots, okay, I've got both by the way, really cute, I'm wearing the pair of tights that Mel came with, I've got this poncho, I made this out of a pair of baby tights and I just cut the top off and it's a poncho, you'll see what I mean later, and this handmade dress that Annie originally came in. So I'm just going to dress her up. So first of all I'm going to put the tights on. Only because putting the tights on are the best bits to do first. Pull it over. There we go. Okay, so the tights go all the way up her body. Okay. Then I'm going to put the dress on. These aren't especially wintry. The especially wintry ones are going to be a tiny bit later. These are more full east. Well, not eastern, but that kind of thing. They're not very wintry, but they're winterish. If that makes any sense. 
I'm just putting a poncho on over her. It looks more like a scarf, but I like to call it a poncho for some reason. Split over. And there she is. Okay. And I'm going to put the boots on. Very quickly, so I can then move on to my next star. Sorry, boots are really hard to get out with tights for some reason. Uh, I will be ordering it as a batch, by the way. So I'll be able to do videos well, quicker and easier. But anyway, you get the effect of the elf. And I'll put these on off camera and then I'll show you all my dolls at the end of this video. Okay, so the next star that I've got is Emily Bennett. And she's a historical girl doll and um, she is best friends with Molly McIntyre. But I like to pretend that she was best friends with Kit instead. So. But um, the story of her is I went away to France on a school trip and um, it was like three or four days. But while I was away, it was my birthday, and um, before I went away, this doll was on eBay, and I didn't realise it was Emily, and my dad had bought her for me, and I had no idea that, that um, it was Emily, but I did know that he had bought it. I just knew. So, um, when I came back, my parents threw, like, a little party for me, and I got Emily. And she came with um, coconut pyjamas set, and um, yeah, I didn't even know she was Emily. But then as soon as I took her hair out of this hair tie that she came with, I knew it was Emily. And I was so glad. So um, the outfit she will be wearing is a pair of brown tights. They are brown, they're not black, they're brown. And these are from the Our Generation set, the country classic outfit. Oh, sorry, dropped a shoe. Pink shoes. These pink shoes I got um, was my Madison doll, which is um, not an American girl doll, but a designer friend doll. Kit's old retired meat top. A hand knitted pink woolen skirt. And you're probably thinking why I've forgotten this top. This is a top that came with Melanie, and I'm going to turn it around to make it look like a jacket. And I'm also tying her hair back. So first of all, I'm going to tie Emily's hair back. Only because um, Emily's hair looks really long. I mean, if you look at it from here, look how long it is. It's really long. But it's it's kind of short when you try to tie it back. So I'm going to just um, turn my hair. To be honest, Emily's got in the best condition hair out of all my dolls. She's got very good condition hair. Very, very good condition. I'm just leaving a tiny bit of hair out. I'm just going to finger twizzle it and drop it down. Oh, hang on, sorry. There we go. Sorry, lighting is so bad in here. I've just tied a hair back. I just don't want you to see me in the reflection of that cabinet. So, again, I'm putting on these. Um, tights. I really love these tights. I've lost them about four times, but I do love them very much because they're a different material to all these ones. These are more silky, like um, what you would wear to an office or something. They're really silky and they fit the doll really well. If you need tights, get some um, our generation outfits. They work so well as American Girl. I'm just going to put the knitted skirt on here. I'm going to put the top on. This is more of a mini skirt. So, yeah. 
I'm going to tuck in the top only because um, this top's pretty long. I don't know if long's the correct word. But it's not, um, it doesn't, the length doesn't go as the length of the skirt. And it just doesn't look very fashionable. Sorry, the old America girl clothing was, done, was like clasps and um, zips and this top is done up with clasps. So it's going to take me a second to do it. Sorry, uh, there we go. Nearly there, the last one. Uh, gosh, it's so tiny. There we go. That's just going to have to do. I'm just going to tuck in the shirt, put it down a bit. I might leave the hair out actually and pin a bit to the side. And I'm just going to slip her shoes on and then you can see what she looks like in this fantastic outfit. That I picked up. <laughs> I picked them all out. I, I'm actually alone. I don't have anybody helping me. Only because my mum doesn't really want to go on camera for some reason and my dad is at work so my mum's hiding somewhere goodness knows where okay I'm gonna have to turn the camera off for a minute in a second when I'm showing you what Emily's wearing only because um I don't have much memory left and I'm gonna swap memory cards Oh my gosh, I'm trying to find the best slides and there we go. Here's Em. Looking extremely cute. Sorry about the lighting, I really am. It was much better yesterday, but I think it's the curtains back up today. Yeah. She looks better. There we go. Better lighting. Done. Okay, I'm just going to turn the camera off for a moment and then I'll be back with my next star. Okay, I only have 11 minutes. That's all I could um, delete. So um, let's get started. I'm going to. Hang on. Sorry. There we go. I'm going to turn my camera back around to here. And I have 11 minutes. I got violet when it was my confirmation. If you don't know what confirmation is, it's. A holy celebration and I got her for my confirmation she is my mag 27 and that she's technically my latest doll before my next doll and she's gonna wear this skirt I can't remember the name of it jeans can come true skirt I'm just going to slip these on as I say because I really don't want to rush but I don't think I have any choice if you guys want a full video, I have to rush. A uh, pair of Red and Mary Janes that came with Mal's. I think these are from um, Frilly Lily. If you don't know who that is, check her out on um, eBay. She's awesome. She makes awesome doll clothes if you live in the UK. I think these are Frilly Lily. And she's wearing this handmade sweater. I just, um, me and my mum, we bought this at a charity shop and we just sewed in the back. Which fits an American girl doll. And Violet's hair does look really messy and short, but when it's not tied back, you don't know how long it is. It's very long, and I'm going to show you. Everybody thinks that Violet has really short hair. Violet has crazy long hair. Some, it's even a bit longer than Lainey's, and Lainey's got one of She's my longest hair doll, so. Right now she's tying with them. So I'm just putting this on. I'm not putting on an undercoat because I like to call this like a uh, jumper, sweatery kind of thing. It kind of fits American girl, and it kind of doesn't. But it's very suspicious that way. But I've already wasted two minutes out my 11 minutes and I still have to get through by, and um, not by Mel. And I'm just going to um, open up the skirt, tuck in the sh Sweater top thing. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, sorry if this video has been really long. It's probably not that long to you, but for me it's been about two days. <laughs> so it's been very long. The things I do for you guys, but I love you, so I don't really care. Um, 
Oh, stupid skirt very double blow. Oh, I'm so sorry guys about this. I really am. Oh, sorry, I keep on thinking everything's ripping but it's not. So um Oh uh, sugar, sorry if it sounds really weird. I have got a cold and I just want to sit down and do nothing. So here's Vi. I'm going to just do her hair quickly because I have got a really bad cold. And I just love you guys too much not to give you a video. My last video was about four days ago. So, um, well now it was four days ago, but I don't know where, how long it was about that. Now, do you see what I mean by how long Violet's hair is? Very, very long, but she looks very gorgeous. So I'm going to move on to my final doll, which is, um, Melanie. That's it. Um, the story about Melanie is, um, I saw her on eBay at a very low cost of £40, I know, very low for an American girl, and she comes in a bundle of outfits, and she'd been on for like an hour, and I was saying to my dad, because I told my mum, can I phone dad about this doll, and um, I was speaking to my dad, and I said, it's been on for like an hour, how come nobody's bought the doll, and then said the postage was about £10, and he wasn't willing to pay it, because when I got to Violet, he said no more American girl dolls, but, um, uh, he saw how much I really wanted this doll, and he got her for me. He did what he did with what he did with Kit. He said that it had gone, but he had then bought it. So, um, yeah. And then I think about a couple of weeks ago, I found out that Melanie is actually a Gwen doll. And if you don't know who Gwen is, it's American Girl doll, Girl of the Year, two thousand and nine, Chrissa best friend. I had no idea. I really had no idea. She's going to wear Kit's meat sweater. Oh my gosh, I've run out about you as well. Um, a skirt and a pair of wellies. I'm really sorry I'm rushing guys. I can't believe it. Um, if you guys want to go in, in depth, depth of any of these items please ask me please 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 ask me uh, because i'm rushing so much because i really want to get this video done and uploaded tonight i really honestly do and i also want to show you what all my dolls look like together but i'm running out of battery now and that's really irritating me okay okay, okay. breathe 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 love one two three four five Breathe, AG Level 1, 2, 3, 4, forever. Gosh, I've forgotten how to breathe. But who cares? There we go. Right. I didn't do that top up correctly either. Sugar. Sugar. Just please. Okay, I'm going to have to come back after this. See you okay, so this is a look at Mel. And she's looking super cute. And because my batch is going to run out of thicker now, I'm just going to show you what all my dolls look like. They're literally just in one large pile. I'm just going to stir them all up. It's hard, so some of them will be sitting down and some of them will be standing up. Sorry, all you can see is my arm. Plus I'll cover up the mirror, so. Oh, she just knocked her on her head. Sorry if you had no idea what that was. Um, oh my gosh, that's for three seconds already. Okay, so I'm standing all up and it's so hard. So if you can hear tapping. <laughs> Just 
just organising them. Okay, I've done all of my dolls. Melanie. Violet. Annie. Lainey. Anne. Laurie. you very much for watching you guys and please tune in hopefully next week to watch a brand new episode of laws if you don't know what that is that is my agsm that seems to be very popular so i decided to do another episode of it so tune in next week for that guys and thank you all for watching and if you had a favorite outfit please comment down below any questions i will answer Bye for now guys and thanks for watching. Bye.